Welcome to Win Creativity Knocks All-Star Designer Summer Series. Today, all of our designers are coming together to share great ideas for a wine tasting party. wine bottle needs a label and I wanted to kind of decorate my own label so you notice that I've stamped my grape stamp again on this cardstock here and I also took the, um, the Merkart copper and I added that just to really make this label look super super elegant so um, but the other fun thing is this added decoration here that I used the Macon's air dry clay to create these grapes. And the way that I did that was I pushed the clay and I used the wine, um, the wine color assortment and I pushed the clay into this fruit mold. I've got grapes and I've got a grape leaf here. And when I pop the, the, um, when I pop the grapes out of the mold, the colors were just they were nice, but I kind of wanted it to really sparkle and shine a little bit more. So I used the Judy Kins Mica Gloss and I kind of painted that with my finger onto the grapes. And I took a heat gun because the, the paint on the, or the Judy Kins Mica Gloss on the grapes, it dries, but it kind of needs to be heat set. So if you use a heat gun on it, then that sets it permanently. Every wine party needs to have a centerpiece. And voila, three used large wine bottles, washed and cleaned. And what I did now, I use a couple different products. I, first of all, I taped these off and I used the chalk paint. Now if you use the chalk paint right on the bottle, sometimes it'll beat up a little bit. So I use the chalky paint, because this thing will adhere to anything. After it dried, then I put two coats of the Americana chalk paint over the top and let it set 24 hours. I repeated that on the, my two side bottles for my centerpiece. After that was done, then I went ahead and I started working on the um, pewter bands that you see around the bottles. And I, this is Merc Art, and I use their tools and they have this great little this great little template here that you just sit and you start rubbing so you don't have to take all the hard work out for you and you just keep working on it. It takes a little while but you just keep working on it until you get this great image. You're going to use the paste on the back of the embossed pewter and let that set up. While that's setting up you're going to go ahead and I used etch-all, big bottle of etch-all, and I etched the top parts of the bottle. These two bottles I etched the top and you can see on this bottle, I'd use the whole bottle. But before I used the etch-all, I went ahead and used some of these great letters. These are just final letters from Westcott. And I just, you know, spelt out wine, put them on the bottles, and then 15 minutes, wash it off. And I know we were talking earlier, you can put some of it back in the bottle and reuse it, which is awesome. And then wash the bottles off really good. And once they're washed off, then we're gonna ready to finish up. Then using my push mold that all the other girls have been using, I put the vineyard tone clay in, 
And I did mix up the colors a little bit too. Once I pulled them out, and one little tip, sometimes the clay's really soft, you put a little cornstarch in the mold and it'll pop out much easier. So I literally molded it onto the bottle to dry. I put a little bit of painter's tape on to hold them in place while they were drying overnight. When I took them off, the backs were still a little bit wet, so you let them dry a little more. And then when you're done, go ahead. I use the Beacon 3-in-1 to glue them on. Add a little bling, and these are ready to go. But before we finish up, I'm going to show you how to make these fun flowers. I'd like to add, before I finish up here with the bottles, I did use a little bit of the DecoArt glass paint, and this is a silver, and I dotted little dots all around and let it dry, just so it accented the word wine a little bit more. Then you're gonna take a chalk marker and you're gonna write the different wines that you're offering at the party. And of course, you know, get let's get them ready. So now we're set. Did wanna put a little flower. So this was really fun. I took some this great fabric, wine bottle fabric. And then I used the die cut from Sizzix. Once I took it off, and you just follow the, man, the manufacturer's directions on how to use this particular die cut. Then, when I got a whole bunch of them done, I went ahead and I used the Beacon Stiffener, and I just put plastic on my cookie tray, ch -ch 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 -ch, sprayed it, let it dry overnight, and now they're nice and firm, almost like paper. And then I just went ahead and folded these, and I actually used hot glue, and I hot glued each of the little folded flowers to the wood skewer that's painted green. And then after I have three of those in the center, I went ahead and pushed two more of these right up. The wooden skewer is nice and sharp, so I just pushed this right up to cup it, add a little bit more hot glue, and it cupped it like this. And this is fun, so you have these great little extra flowers to add to the centerpiece. And for our wine party, I was in charge of designing the coasters. This was a really fun project, and I got to play around with this fun stuff from Mercart. It's pewter really flexible and really easy to work with. What I did first was I used my Sizzix Big Shot to die cut a little circle out of cardboard. So once I had my cardboard circle, I used the AdTech Crafters Tape to apply a little bit of adhesive and I laid on top a piece of the pewter. Then I trimmed around it using my Westcott precision tip scissors, which are great for heavy duty cutting and cutting through um, multiple layers and lots of little notches. So I, then I cut around and then I cut many, many notches and I folded them over. And then I cut another piece of pewter on the big shot and I laid that on top and I sealed it with the dazzle tack. So once I had that all fully assembled, I was ready to embellish. The really fun part about this project I loved is using the Mercart tools. And they embossed little shapes. So I used them to emboss a grape shape, going with our theme with the wine. And this little circular one worked great for that. And then I used the little pointy one to trace out all the little leaves. So that worked really, really well. And then I filled in with some spirals and embellished and, you know, did all my little doodads, like spirals were like vines. And so really went with the grapey, whiny theme. And to top it all off, I used the Jack's Pewter Black, applied it with a little foam brush, and it just embosses it, makes it look like it's uh, all patina, like a weathered tin. For our wine party, I also designed this fabulous little ice bucket to keep our white wine chilled or for a bottle of champagne. It was really easy to do. I started by cutting a piece of Rolux in the gold moire pattern. I cut it really easily with my Westcott Trim Air trimmer and I wrapped it around and I used a handy gluing technique. I used AdTech Low Temp hot glue to hold it in place while I was using the 527 glue from Beacon to create a really strong permanent bond because the hot glue will hold it in place for a while but if you really want it to stick you use the, the more permanent glue but it's a good mix there of the two different glues. Once I had it fully wrapped with my Rolex I started creating these embellishments. I used the Macon's clay in the vineyard tones and the push mold to create all these little wine themed leaves and grapes and I actually mixed two different colors from the vineyard uh, shades from Macon's clay. I mixed the purple and I mixed the red to create a nice kind of Bordeaux color 
And then I made more little leaves and I even rolled out some of my own little vines by hand. You could also have made those with the extruder, but I did do them by hand. And when I used the push mold, I trimmed it. I pushed them out of the mold, still soft, and then I trimmed it with my Westcott scissors, the really precision tip ones to get in those tight and tricky corners. And I also used my hobby knife. Once I had those all fully dried, I glued them on using the same technique with the 527 from Beacon and the AdTech hot glue. And I went ahead and made these great little letters. The way I did that was I rolled out some of the Macon's clay in white and I rolled it out with the Macon's clay little roller. And then I used my see-through stencils. I used those to press down and I even used the Merc Art tool to kind of get around the little edges. And that's how I created those letters. And then I trimmed them with my precision scissors, let them dry, and then I painted them with some paint from Deco Art. I used a little um, maroon and then some gold on top. And then I glued them on with my same handy gluing tip that I already told you about. And then I added a little bit of bling here. I just cut this adhesive rhinestone bling. I cut it with my Westcott nonstick scissors. I cut right through that bling, really easy. Not, didn't get gunked up or anything. And then I uh, put it all together and ready for our fabulous party. That was a great project. I really loved it. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And pin us on Pinterest. Find us on Instagram too. And don't forget to go to our website, sign up to receive our weekly newsletter, and then you're automatically entered to win a prize package full of product from all of our series sponsors. 